Are you struggling with loneliness? Do you know that 61% of all adults in North America feel lonely? I'm Reverend Dr. Brent Hawks. I was a senior pastor for many years, and now I'm the executive director of Rainbow Faith and Freedom. So I want to talk with you about some ideas around loneliness. And these arise from the readings that I've done over the years, from my pastoral experience of dealing with lots of individuals and couples, and from my own personal experience of loneliness. You know, sometimes as a pastor, you're in a fishbowl and you're surrounded with all kinds of people and sometimes you can never go anywhere without people around you. But yet, at the same time, you can feel deeply, deeply lonely. So here are some things that have helped me. First, I have found it helpful to create a physical space for good memories. I believe that memories of past connections, past situations, live on with us. So at home, we've created a, a gallery of family pictures. And I have a digital frame that I put all kinds of pictures, I have two of them in fact, uh, in my office of digital frames and that are going all the time. I can look up and see memories of wonderful good times from the past. So celebrating by having a physical space for good memories I found to be very helpful. The second thing is to create new memories. Don't just rely on the past. And in order to do that, we have to invest in experiences and not things. When we invest in things, they don't bring us that sense of community, that sense of happiness or feel good. It's there for a little while, but quickly dies out. You know, there's a saying, when the going gets tough, the tough go shopping. I would say no. When the going gets tough, the tough reach out for friendships, for companionship, for experiences. And if you can't immediately think of someone to spend time with, some companionship, think about who else might be lonely. Or look at volunteer opportunities where you can make friendships. The third thing for me is, you know, since John and I have been together 40 years, we not only have each other, which is very helpful, but we also have always had two dogs. And I have found the presence of dogs to be amazingly healing and also comforting and playfulness, all kinds of wonderful gifts. Mm -hmm. And so uh, whether you have a pet or you could take care of someone else's, um, I encourage you to think about that if you're lonely. And finally, when I retired from being a senior pastor, after a few months I'd heard lots of people say, oh, this must be hard for you, Brett, this must be hard for you, Brett. So I spoke to my therapist and I said, am I in denial? Because it doesn't feel hard. It feels, in fact, wonderful. And she laughed and she said, no, Brent, I'm not worried about you being in denial. She said, because when people retire, there are two things that I worry about. One is when they have no structure in their life. When they wake up and they don't know what to do with their day and there's, it just goes one day after another uh, without any kind of structure. And so she said, you know, having some structure is really important. And then she said the second thing was, I really think it's important for people to have something to get out of bed for, something to look forward to. And when they don't, she said, I really worry. And so whether that looking forward to is a volunteer opportunity, whether that's a regular routine of meeting a friend for lunch, but to make sure that you have every day something that you look forward to. Ultimately, the goal is to get more comfortable with your alone time, enjoying yourself, enjoying the memories that you've made, the memories that you will make in the future, enjoying your pets, when you're not alone, enjoying your pets, uh, etc. So please see the description below this video for resources on how to cope with loneliness. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe and click on this little bell button beside the subscribe button so that you'll get a notice whenever we post a new video. Thank you.